Well, have you noticed this yet? A gallon of gasoline just doesn't seem to go as far as it used to go. It's true the kind of fuel you put in your tank could be decreasing your mileage. Tonight, News Channel 8's Natalie Shepard explains how gasoline blended with ethanol can leave you feeling empty in a hurry. Max's market is known for its Euro sandwich and friendly service. Lately, it's earned another distinction among loyal customers. Sean Park makes sure to fill up here every week. Because I drive this uh, big Denali here in Sagas Guzzler, um, there's no ethanol in Max's product. Max's Market is one of the only gas stations in Sarasota selling gasoline that's not blended with 10% ethanol. Owner Max Mordazavi says dozens of customers ask for it every day. Majority of them, they, they just come and they want to make sure that we do not have the ethanol. That's because ethanol reduces gas mileage. On average, some drivers are seeing a 10% reduction in gas mileage when they fill up with E10. Park pays more than $100 a week to fill up her Denali. She says a tank of ethanol blend only lasts four to five days. There's just not as much bang for the buck. E10 is something drivers are going to have to get used to. Starting in 2011, all gas sold in Florida has to contain at least 10% ethanol. And Mortazavi believes it could be sooner than that. The suppliers and the carriers, they're telling me it is coming. And they're telling me in the squeezes are going to start probably uh, as early as August. That's it. Takes that long to put it in. It's going to go down in there. Phil Darst uses a product called Enviromax Plus in his gas tank. Darst insists it increases his gas mileage. It changes the chemical composition and essentially all it does is it oxygenates the fuel so that the fuel burns more efficiently. But he still looks for gas stations that don't sell an ethanol blend. I don't think it's right. I don't think it's very good. I think people at least ought to be informed of what they're getting and what they're paying for. And I think they should have a choice. A choice drivers won't have down the road. In Sarasota, Natalie Shepard, News Channel 8.